What's up guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I have the Winkler Belt Knife Triple Alt Design Edition, and this is a combination fighting and field knife. You know, obviously designed by Winkler Knives and, and Winkler Knives 2. He has, uh, he's a bladesmith here in the US, and I believe he's out of North Carolina, and he's designed a lot of fighting style knives and uh, tomahawks and stuff like that for a lot of tier one operators. I know in the uh, book, No Easy Day, uh, the Navy SEAL Mark Owen was wearing the uh, Winkler knife on his belt whenever he went to do the Osama bin Laden raid. But this knife is made of CPM 3V and you know that steel is one of my favorites you probably heard before me talk about it a good bit and because it's strength and with that type of strength you can go with a lighter blade and that's the whole reason behind this is for it to be a lighter blade without sacrificing durability or strength. And that way, in a fighting situation, you know, you can, this knife can be maneuvered very fast. So, the blade has good enough weight for batoning, even though it's thin profile. It is still, you know, strong enough to baton. You can see the uh, wear marks I've put on the blade from uh, batoning a good bit. And the coating hadn't came off, you know, still looks good. I just had to wash it off. The, uh, knife has a reduced handle that allows you to you know choke up for users with smaller hands that can choke up high on the knife or kind of go back without really sacrificing your uh, maneuverability of the knife you know it has this kind of slope here so it really catches in your hand and stays in your hand and there's some jimping on the knife very nice jimping and i believe triple design made an addition to the jimping from my uh, winkler knives this is a, a flat grind, and I like flat grind uh, because it's uh, batoning, acts like a wedge. And this jimping will give you traction, especially for that finer work. You know, when you're, you know, making feather sticks or whatnot. You can see there. But, I mean, good blade profile. It has a, you know, slope here, kind of like, I believe it's called a, a bird beak or something like that, or hawk beak uh, slope. So it gives you that forward momentum of the blade whenever you're, you know, using the knife for finer tasks. And it gives you a lot of strength. You can see the kind of linear uh, path behind the blade to give you that strength on those finer cuts like that. And the tip here with that profile, you're not gonna, you know, chip the blade or break the tip off. The handle is made, this one is made from black rubber and I believe it's recycled uh, tire rubber. And it's very, very grippy, looks good. You can also get a micarta version of this, but I like this rubber a lot. It's very grippy in the hand, especially if you're wet, you know, doing tactical operations or whatnot. The blade has a, a blade length of 4.86 inches and an overall length of 9.12 inches and it's 6.5 ounces so it's very very light knife you know very maneuverable in a, in a knife fighting situation let's kind of talk about the sheath for a second the sheath is uh, a very unique design from uh, Winkler you can see the triple design logo there and the knife can be worn you know scout style like horizontally or vertically it has a kydex disc on the back and there's another leather, leather piece that goes across the back to weave it into your belt loop. But I really like it. The leather is almost like form-fitted like Kydex, but it also has a felt lining inside to protect the, the blade. But again, I like this knife and it pretty much fits all, uh, fit, fits my uh, description of you know a good survival knife. If you've seen how to choose a survival knife video, this is uh, fits all the specifications that I like in a survival knife. It's just, you know, a smaller version and a lightweight, you know. Has a lanyard hole so you can uh, tether it to yourself or whatnot. But check out this at Triple Up Design. Check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more tips and tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.